understanding basic tool functions please match one to seven below this video will help you get a basic understanding of the function of most Google tools on the left side you have a list of Google tools on the right side you have the function of those tools now please take a second and try to match the tool with its appropriate function you may pause this video to take your time and answer the question first up Google Chrome Chrome is used mainly for web browsing you can create a personal profile that will allow you to keep your settings separate and private you could also personalize your Chrome account with bookmarks apps themes and extensions with all these tools that I have on, on the left hand side uh, Chrome Docs YouTube Hangouts etc and so forth I'm gonna do a whole unit on each of those tools so I know this is just a brief introduction and if you don't you know if, if you're not really up to speed it's okay because as we go through this series of videos you'll catch up and learn as much as you can so let's go on to the second one Google Docs so Google Docs is used mainly for smart editing it's similar to a word document uh, but with Google Docs multiple students can edit a document at the same time they can make comments they can email each other directly and they can see what they missed Google Docs is is really great as a collaborative tool whereas Microsoft Word it's not as collaborative as Google Docs and it really it's just really got to catch up third YouTube video sharing that that one was easy with YouTube you could share videos with your students you can provide direct instruction through those videos and remember that videos are a media that caters to various different learning styles because it incorporates visual learning as well as auditory learning there's also an option to flip a classroom as well next up hangouts hangouts are used to communicate with parents and other educators or anybody else you would like what's great about hangouts is that you don't have to give out your personal phone number you can use Google Hangouts for video conferencing you can avoid that back and forth emailing number five Google Forms and that's used for surveys and quizzes you know Google Forms function to gather information and take surveys you can use the forms to give a quick formative assessment or just collect a list of names for students interested in joining the chess club or something like that number six Google Drive Google Drive is mainly your online storage this is your file storage center you can store and convert files from PDFs or Microsoft documents to any of the Google Doc applications any change to a Google Doc is automatically saved and stored in Drive which is a great feature you can also restore previous versions of the documents if you like and Google Drive is a perfect example of, a, of going paperless and as I said earlier you know each of each of these tools I'll do a whole unit on so if, if you you know if this isn't making sense to you right now that's okay this is just a brief introduction and then I'll go into depth on each of these tools individually last one up Google Sites and it's the only choice remaining Google Sites is used for online information you can provide information to your students and their parents by creating a class website within that class website you can add announcements embed a calendar or even showcase student work it's a great way of, of taking students work and putting it out there for the community to see so I'd like to thank you for your time and ask you to please watch the next video in the series thinking beyond the textbook